Welcome to Ask Jay. I'm Jay Adelson. This is a show where we answer your questions um, that never were answered for me when I was starting my own business. Um, certainly uh, hope to get to some interesting ones today. So let's get started. I'm Jay Adelson and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've built a number of companies. I've been hired as a CEO and I've even been fired as one. For example, Equinix is a company I took public in 2000 and now has a market cap of over $4 billion. In 2008, I was incredibly honored to have been selected as one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world. My goal is to pass on some of this knowledge to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by HostGator. Today's question comes from Sarah from Portland, Oregon, who asks, will investors try and screw me? Well, Sarah, I, I can't, I don't know what you look like, um, but no, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't even go there. I think what you're talking about is, will investors try and somehow take advantage of you uh, in this relationship uh, as, a, as an entrepreneur? And, you know, look, the, first of all, you have to understand that by and large, an investor's job is to make money. Okay, so you have to walk in that door understanding, whether it's an angel or a VC, an individual, whatever it might be, even a corporate investor, that their job generally is to make money from this investment. So as part of that job, their goal is to make sure they invest uh, you know, for the money that they're investing, they get as much of your company as possible on the most favorable terms to them that results in the most amount of money return over the long, over the period of, of the company. And, and if you just understand that, walking in the door, it's not them trying to screw you, it's them doing their job. And from the standpoint that, you know, these guys are going to be advisors to you during the course of you building your business, I, I wouldn't want them to be anything less than transparent about that. Now, is it true that investors will take advantage of what you don't know sometimes at the beginning? And, and I do think there are investors out there, generally less on the, on the angel side, more on the sort of more corporate, you know, or I should say venture capital level, who, if you don't know what terms to ask for, they're gonna default to those favorable terms uh, in your uh, in your term sheet, in your initial relationship. Um, and again, that's their job, but they're gonna go ahead and let it, let it slide through, you know. An example might be uh, an investor who just assumes, because you don't know any better, that taking two board seats is perfectly acceptable, when really, if you had just known to say no, uh, you would have given away less. And so, this is where experience counts, this is where mentors help, this is where going and getting advisors who have, or other entrepreneurs who have done this a few times is really helpful. Um, and of course, a really solid corporate attorney who has negotiated many, many deals is worth his or her weight in absolute gold in telling you what is the normal deal so that when the investor presents the one that's more weighted towards them, you have something to compare it against, a frame of reference. So it's less about them trying to screw you and it's more about them doing their job. Um, one last thing I'll say on this though is that that's at the beginning. Okay, so then there's this process uh, between um, the point you start and the point that you exit or the business is successful. And typically, these bigger investors sit on your board of directors. That relationship, that's a personal relationship. That's an individual thing. Some investor investors like partners at a venture firm are phenomenal sitting at that table. Others, uh, you know, are, are less valuable. Sometimes there's adversarial relationships that build up. But I think if you walk in the door and, 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 and start thinking of it as a mentor, as someone who's bringing value to the table, they appreciate that, you appreciate that, you'll prevent um, these sort of conflicts later on. So, you know, a good example of this uh, certainly um, was my experiences with my board at Equinix where, uh, you know, when I first walked in, I didn't really know much about what to expect from my investors. I actually got three people on my board from very different worlds. I had um, an investor partner from the, from the VC firm 
um, Cisco invested, so I had the CSO of Cisco on my board, and I got an I had an independent seat. So I brought in um, a non-investor uh, who was from a competitor of Cisco on the board, and they all sat on the board with me. And, and so you had two investors who were out there trying to make sure that the business was most successful as possible. And there were times, because I was new, where I felt like, um, sure, that I was sort of on the spot and that uh, the board would make decisions that were different than the way I wanted to go. Um, and that, that's going to happen. Uh, and I remember feeling like it was personal at first, but what you realize real quickly that it's not personal. And you can't take it personal. They weren't trying to screw me. What they were trying to do is what they thought genuinely was best for the business. And in the end, you know what? They're often right. And you really should listen sometimes. I'll give you some tips to how to prevent getting screwed by investors in just a second. But first, I want to thank our sponsor. Looking for a place to launch a blog or a website? Frustrated with customer support at your current hosting provider? Go to HostGator and get up and running in minutes. With plans starting just at $3.96 a month, you get top-rated 24-7 customer support, access to tools, including a website builder with over 4,000 templates. HostGator will even migrate your current site for free. Servers are 130% powered by wind energy. It's completely green web hosting. Unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, a $100 Google AdWords credit to market your website. Right now, for Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Go to www.hostgator.com and enter the code JADELSON at checkout to get your discount. Okay, so today's homework assignment, some tips to avoid being screwed by the investor, starts at the very beginning at that term sheet. Go to your corporate attorney and make absolutely sure that there aren't loopholes, things that would allow, um, for example, your position in the company to be altered without your permission. Um, an example might be a provision that says that the common stockholders or the company, like the management team, has at least one representative on the board at all times. Um, usually, an investor isn't going to agree to terms that, are, that don't allow them control. But just make sure that there is always fair representation from the company at the board level. Make sure that things like um, uh, your termination is clear. So if that you're fired or that you're cut, um, that there's something there that gives you severance, uh, some kind of severance package so that they can't take that away from you if they cut you. Another thing that you could, that you could put in there are things around change of control. So if the company is acquired, what happens to your stock and your ownership? Does your stock accelerate so that, by accelerate I mean the vesting, so that you can get you know, a full amount of your ownership in payment? Does it not? Um, you know, how much of it gets accelerated? Often there are things called double triggers, which means that if your company's bought and the new company fires you, you get the full acceleration. All of these things corporate attorneys know about, they'll help you make sure they go into the language of the investment at the very beginning to prevent you from getting screwed later. That's it for today. Keep your questions coming to askj at revision3.com. Can't wait to see them. Want them to be, you know, don't be afraid to ask anything. I mean, after all, you know, uh, um, you know the wackier the question, um, the more fun it is, right? So just don't send me, you know, anything offensive is all I ask, okay? Anyway, um, don't forget, you've got nothing to lose. Find that screw that's loose and loosen a little bit more, and I'll see you next time.